folks welcome back in this tutorial we will talk about why I said that Java is very similar to an Eng learning an English language so just like in English language you have the smallest things is like you start with alphabets you have alphabets from A to Z so this is what we happen in the in the uh, English language so combination of these alphabets makes something called as words like dog, cat, human, etc. Combination of these words make something called as sentences. And combination of these sentences make something called as the paragraph. So this is how you go ahead and start learning your English language. The basic building blocks in English language is an alphabet. Combination makes a word. Combination of the words makes a sentence and a bunch of sentences makes a paragraph. So this is like an English kind of structure. Now, what is this similar to learning a Java? So in Java, just like English, you have the building blocks, you have alphabets, which is A to Z. You can use digits. Basically, we have 0 to 9. You have also special symbols like add the rate, percentage, and operator, add the rate, etc. So these are these, these are the building blocks of the programming language. Now, combination of these can consider or can make keywords variables and we also say as constants so combination of these can make a keyword variable and constants we'll talk about each of them in our coming tutorials now combination of these make something called as instructions so these are like okay instructions one line statements that you give to the pro computer okay instructions step by step guide bunch of these instructions make a program so exactly how things work. So you write a pro the, the program, the bunch of instructions that you write is called as a program. Now, instructions are made from using variables, constants, keywords, etc. So this is how I can say that learning Java is very simple and easy, just like learning in English language. In our next tutorial, we will do a very simple Hello World example, which will explain you how you can write your first program. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.